What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to round off what happened last time, we attacked Udaipur and took it from a rather ragtag garrison force, whereas the attack on Akbarabad actually was a bit more tricky, but we managed to do it uh, with severe losses to Earnhardt to um, Earnhard Mattinson. We captured the territory of Hindustan. Hartman Linfors is the one who got the uh, he got the confident general because he actually came in and captured the city. And all this stuff is we've already done. Good the fleet arrives. Cool. So I think the only thing we can do, well, the main thing actually is if I leave. Oh no, you're getting your artillery, aren't you? Good. Yep. The only main thing to do is hit in turn and let the game play out. Yep. Reinforcements are making their way to the fort. Yeah. Another well, we've managed to managed to attack Dagestan without drawing the Russians into conflict, which is always nice. And then the next question will be, well, the question after we've defeated the Persians will be, can we conveniently uh, declare on the Ottomans without them causing us too much? Friend, that shouldn't be a problem. So we've got a spy. Got a spy near Istanbul, watching their territories anyway. We send him more towards Baghdad. Because that will be our first Ottoman target. The Russians are at war with the French, which can only be good for us. Ah, the Mughals have taken one of our forts. Oh well. Yep, the religious, no, the, uh, the the scholars, the Mughal scholars are falling back because we're destroying the university. Stationed at this fort. They're trying to raid near Ahmedabad, but it's not going to work. Ooh, they very, the, the Dagestan forces are very, 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 very nicely decided to gather inside Nerun, which gives our force to the southeast an easy time crossing the river. Which means we can just easily. Uh, set amongst them and attack them. There is a clamor for reform in this region. You Shouldn't be any more. Nope. We can even tax you now. And we're going to replace you with a church school. Because you've already got pleasure gardens and lots of industry. So let's get to fixing you. Yep, you still need time to replenish because you are heavily beaten. But reinforcements are coming. So let's take you for. Oh no, I know. Okay, so I need to actually remove. Because what you need is new cavalry. Because unfortunately. That elite cavalry we sent in got utterly destroyed. And one set of guns. Let's get some 24 pounders. Good, so you got some tech advances. So we got shrapnel shot. So let's hop on to steam engine for a dense. Uppsala is researching the next philosophical tech. I think go for the. That's what I want. Secular humanism is plus eight to town wealth. The minus 50 percent religious unrest it's pretty good but we don't really have a problem with religious unrest at the minute so i might go for the abolition of slavery to get rid of them to get increase the management bonuses and diplomatic relations i think that's the good thing to do new town emerges in berra so you've already got a chap school so have a craft workshops these guys have formed up so they can go over to Surat, where they will be shipped by sea to the next destination. Come on, Niles, Niles, Nils. Let's replenish you. Uh, let's build. Let's build these buildings. How's your roads doing? You can get metal roads. And it's start to roll out improved infrastructure to our empire. Especially the ones in the frontier towns. Oh, 
You're still replenishing fine. Let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade up tea plantations. So you're replenishing, you're set up. You're recruiting still. And when you've finished recruiting, Nope, not a break, a sloop. Knock out two more galleons. Good stuff. So you are still reinforcing. You should be, but there's only one unit to really, so go lay siege to Neroon. Although, to be honest, it's all just militia in a mortar unit. So you know what, let's push across the river. Let's take Neroon. Let's just keep pushing. There might be some consolidation needs to be done up near Hindustan because they've got uh, the Punjab region and they've got the territory up in, Af in um, not Afghanistan. Oh, I forgot, I've completely forgotten the name. Kashmir, that's the one. It would be handy to have that front, but I think in general, things are going spectacularly well. Okay, so you want to draw the guns up onto the hill here. Deploy a block of in line infantry to go straight ahead. Deploy our cavalry to go around the village. Our howitzers will also move up with us, and then we will have five units of infantry form a Western cover or a left flank cover. The mortars can just deploy as far up as possible because they're going to be tricky to cover. Now run that flank. Let's move our cavalry up. I got you, 12 pounders. You just stay behind. Good selection of infantry on the move. Marines and company troops. Sixty-four. Yeah, you did get a bit of a hammering. Well, they're doing the smart thing. They're actually going for this. These units as they're all clustered up. So foot artillery gets into position. Like that's a lot of dead troops for one volley. Okay, let's get our mortar dropping quick line. Because you can only hit their mortars and our and their um, you know dug-in infantry, so figure it's a fair trade. They're winning decisively, so they think. Let's <laughs> like get this guy in the face with a. Oh, good. From out they're firing quickly and back at us. You hideous beasts. To be honest, this might be a time to just march up. So let's run so I can unlimber this artillery without worrying about if you're going to get killed. Just got more, just firing round shot. You are both. Round shot. Okay. You guys push up to take a flanking position. They're going to get a lot of cover from the wall. 
lots of round shot dropping in. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Keep an eye out, chaps. I'm just going to watch what's going on over, over here. Can't be too dangerous behind us, you see. No, we've had enough of that. This was the first speed bump. So we continue to advance up. Run, where's my curious Have at them. Let's push up our infantry aggressively. Two units routed. So we continue to chase them down to make sure they stay dead. Pull back. So these guys could come back. Charge into these armed citizenry to make sure they don't come back. But, you know, get them out of the way. Push up our infantry. Okay, you. Form up like so. Everyone else can just. Push up. So we've turned. So we've turned their flank. The Finns can stay here and pour fire into the altar. Surprise! They're unhappy because they've been shot at from a couple of units. Understandable. 60 seconds is about to have a saying. I go, oh, no, they were. So these guys are going to bane and charge the militia. Including the fusiliers. Aren't best suited for this job, but at least it's only against militia. Use it from square, you guys. We go smash into that unit of militia. Before I think of doing something a bit more clever. Finnish expat infantry having a go at the militia. Which side are you? 
67. It's coming in for support. As is the 60th. Turn off the artillery now because lots of fratricide going on. Okay, if I do this, bring you guys back around to go hit this unit of colonial militia. Come on, the 60 second. Charge into position to engage the colonial militia. I'll get there in time because my cuirassiers will have a good old time with their militia. Yeah, they are doing tremendously badly. Good stuff. Slaughtering. This unit of horse guards has actually got, gone up to experience four. Yep, so they thought they'd try and charge me before I charge them, but that wasn't going to happen. Charge from the front, charge from the back, yeah. You've been wiped from the field. Yeah, that's a that battle there. Damn right it was a heroic victory. We absolutely slaughtered them. The thing they could do about it. They could not. They could not withstand us. Let's just fix the Subadar's palace and let's kick their navy out to have a go at me. How the hell did that happen? Sink them anyway. No, I don't want the sixth rate. Aye, aye, Captain. Put into report. Oh, you can't repair because there is no port. Um, let's get a fishery. You're only a small region. You're not going to make crazy amounts of cash. Let's do some replenishment on your armies. Awesome. Don't want to repair anything here because you, I have a sneaking suspicion, are just going to run and take me. Good. Well, there's not much we can do about construction because we've spent all our money. Our tech's doing well. Um, I might actually shift. I don't know. Cambridge is. The power loom is pretty good. It just increases bonus from wealth and plus wealth generated. Yeah, let's stick with that, actually. More cash, more better. The French sending more troops south to go deal with the last Anglo colony on the eastern coast. At some point they will get too big for their britches and will need to be dealt with. But when time comes, Iranian. Which I think would be lovely. Oh no, that could be the end of the 13 colonies. Oh no. Ah, the Mughal navy has emerged. Although, I doubt it's much of a navy. Especially as they have no ports. Yep, they're raiding away, which is their prerogative. That's an annoying direction to raid. But that's where you have two armies. One of them can continue to raid, or to to kill your raiding forces. And then the other can continue advancing to maintain the pressure on the enemy in the front lines. 
There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yeah, you're okay. Select the type oh, of port to construct here. A fishing some port will help your population grow. experienced units for sure. Let's bring this guy up as a bit of a hedge, just in case he fancies doing something silly. I'm going to send my reinforcement column against them. Well, they lost. <laughs> oh, the words sounded funny. Let's just bring them back. <laughs> These guys are going to take a lot of turns of replenishment to get over. Let's get over what happened to them. You guys are still going. Go on, let's make you a global trading company. Same with Calcutta, just to stop them from complaining. Can I move you out of Bengal? I can. Could board the, climb aboard the fleet. And... Do a fifth rate flying horse. It's going to be Moss that's going to be the Admiral. Or the, the ship that's going to hold the Admiral. P back around to Surat. Good. So who is here? Bunch of Jevex. So just send this regular fleet in, just to pile them into little bits of dust. Don't really want a brig. Chase them down. Because they have no more coastlines, so if I don't kill them, it's not it's not exact it's not as if they will just go away. They'll continue doing what they're doing and be very annoying about it. So let's prepare your ships. Turn out some more galleons. Okay, so you've got a coffee house. No, let's make it a church school. Let's build new roads, upgrade the farms. Can't repair the navy because there's no building there. Conrad, advance up to hit this raiding army. I mean, that's just a trifling matter. Conrad, replenish your troops. Move up. We can upgrade you and let's repair the Palatian estate. Let's upgrade the farmlands. You'll continue on your mission to assassinate this priest. Because he's growing, he's having more of an impact than our church school, although I can upgrade it. New town emerges in Denmark. Huh. To be honest, you're really happy. So there's not much of a problem. We're about to have another port. We've dealt with the port blockade. Ah, there was there was a port that could have upgraded. Oh, cannot yet let them let them free. Or at least leave them ungoverned. But it's nice to see the Christianism, Christianity, sorry, is growing across the board. Heaven knows, soon we will have a crazy amount of free ships, or for at least um, free buildings once we've converted the population. So our reinforcements are moving up. I mean, this has got to be it for the 13 colonies. They've been pushed from the north. French fleet has, has combined. I do need to beef up my fleets. I mean, they could have 
kill the 13 colonies right there, but they decided, no, this farm is the much better place to sit. <laughs> I didn't even see who won that battle. <laughs> it must have been the Spanish, otherwise the Russians would have fled. Things are going rather well. Ah, they're re rebuilding the garrison at Charleston. Not that it'll do them much good, and I can't really afford to give them money. Go after them if you like. I mean, auto resolve. Because we can just kill them before they even get to the town. It's a call and a moving. One thing we have to bear in mind now is we do have a front front line with Persia, so they will be trying to send armies towards us. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. England. Come on, man! Replenish the fleet and let's get. Be nice to get some cavalry to come up and give you some support. How are you doing? Yeah, you're not quite replenished yet, but enough to take out this annoying little wandering troubadour. Good, you're not hard. Good. Can you take up pushing this direction? You get go towards the west to help hold them off. Yeah, I don't have a church school in this building at all, in this region at all, do I? Though I can't. Oh, it's because your madrasa is a prelude. Is the is the Mughal religious building. Okay, so let's take you with. Okay, will you actually stay there for now? Let's recruit. Can't recruit war galleons. So let's recruit some fourth rates. Actually, just the actually one might do. Well, no, you can still build two. I'm going to st steal Justinia to pick up this rake. Sail on to London. Pick up this rake. And sail to India. Good. Comptroller, one of my ministers has grown up. Okay, you're going to go for a craft workshops. Good stuff. So they've been little scamps and have been raiding us, but that's okay. Build the gunnery school in case we need some advanced tech. Let's click the replenishment button. You are being taxed. Fine, it's a great use to global trading companies because we're starting to run out of things to actually spend money on in India. Good. Great tea. So, Weaver's Cottage. I can't upgrade yet because short of friends. Which means lots of stuff I can't upgrade because short of friends. Yep, raids, raids, raids. Please kill this priest. Good. Forces have been recruited to Hyderabad to move up, and they're going to go towards Matinson. So you could do with some light cavalry. Oh, so company cavalry versus colonial light. Company cavalry is better across the board, and only costs 30 more to build. And ten more to up for upkeep. 
I don't know. Colonial Light is better on the charge, but when they're in the mix, the Company Cavalry has got more defence and more melee attack. So let's keep let's build them. Okay, let's have a look at our ministers, because it's been an election year and we've got some superb ministers, so I don't think I'm going to mess around with it too much. Frederick IV has children's Charlotte, Caroline, Julianne, and Frederick. Other claimants to the throne. Everyone's terrible. So, mm, be interesting to see how that goes. Plus three to morale for Anhard Matteson and Drillmaster. So you are getting up there too in terms of skills. God, where's our original main army? Niles is one of them. Nils, Niles. You were one as well. Well, actually. embark the fleet she sail up to the coast then land and then let's get the sloop back to port let's go to this one because it's building actually let's upgrade you as well anyway move up towards Zahedan so, where's, so there's the particular army I was thinking of Frederick Carlson, you're the one. You're the guy that's now taking the push with the first Kalmar. Up to Lahore. Good. And that's it in turn. You demand? You demand? What do you demand of me? Counteroffer? No regions, no military alliance, just trade. I cannot for your politics, Austria. You have nothing to offer me. Although I could offer them, offer them Iceland to become my protectorate because it means they're not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. And I would like, I should really build up the Baltic, the Baltic fleet in the fishing port. Fled at the sight of the Spanish ship. No, not again. Oh, 13 coins pushed the French back. The Mughals are uh, raiding again. God damn, raiding forces. It's, it's the most frustrating thing because the AI can't do anything to actually impact you. There is and a that's exactly why they do it. That has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Send this guy along. Fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port. <laughs> oh yeah, I forget about these other regions I have. Ooh, Rupert's land has rebelled. It's you, Hans. You have a patrol. Get ready to recruit a sloop to hold the port, and then he will go up and secure Rupert's land. May as well take advantage of any lost territories like that. There you go. Just want to kill them just to make sure they don't do it again. Push this army on to the university. But you can't leave the town, can you? No, you can. So you can push up to reinforce. You can move back towards the town. And await your reinforcements. Great the cough mill. Kill him. Kill him. No! Not my agent. <laughs> my agent. He's not you. You try to kill him. Ah, oh, damn it. So long, Madrasa. Another one. It is. 
No wonder Mal I wasn't changing. Well, it was changing towards Hinduism. I might push Comrade up to this bridge. He will cross it. Well, does he cross it or does he put... Oh, I think he... Or at least he holds it. Because I want him to send him on to Kabul. That would be quite a good... Oh, okay. Hold position. He can't come south. Let's force them to go on the offensive. Let's keep upgrading our roads. To be honest, all the roads seem to be quite nicely upgraded. Okay, so if I do this, upgrade this, upgrade this. Can you, Niles, now leave my soul? You can! Let's have a sloop. I like can even tax you. An extra 3,000 for the Empire. So what about now? 66k. Jesus. Nothing's going to stop us now. We are invincible. Okay, so that's two more war galleons. Let's go have an actual look. So there's a there's a, Mar there's a Mughal force down there. I know there is. Let's send these ships out. Promote your pardon to hold an admiral. Sail him to the East Indies. Sail these two ships out to the East Indies. Sweet. Keep dropping out fourths. Still pushing war galleons, but I only have 12. Okay, privateers. Let's start to build another fleet that's going to sail on to conquer another trade zone. Because soon it will be myself. Let's see if. Because everyone else still has ships here. Portuguese, the Mughals, and this is Courland? Yeah, Courland. So the only thing stopping the Prussians from attacking me is this strip of land. Okie dokie. Ivar Yorikson, minus two management for treasury. Let's hope you're not my treasury minister. He is! Damn. Oof. Oh god, that's even worse. <laughs> How's that impacting my income? Not much. Not at all, seemingly. Which is strange. Sweet. So I want to wait to see if these guys attack me. So let's hit and turn. I can't become protectorate. I can't demand they become my protectorate, which is unfortunate. Damn. I wouldn't mind saving Austria, but, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to risk my <laughs> risk my diplomatic settlement in order to achieve it. The Ottoman Empire is going to be our next target. Spill through the Middle East because we've got six, six maybe seven strong armies. So we'll be able to punch straight through to the to the Mediterranean coast. Ooh. I thought they were going to attack me. I think I sh maybe I should be a bit more concerned about the Hanoverians. 
on the on my border. I might give them a, give them a little something just to keep them on side. <gasps> yes, this is there is a port in this region that is not. So I recruited this sloop because I think I might want an actual fleet to escort my general all the way up here. If there's a pirate territory, I may as well go go steal it. So we've got a fleet arriving here, four three eight. Go join the fleet being raised at Calcutta. Another battle fleet, so your job is to come over here. Sink the last Maratha force, and that's. Ooh. Yeah, why not? Let's recruit the ship. So let's take our most damaged ships, send them back to India, send these war galleons to secure the trade post keep these guys somewhere central. There we go. Let's get rid of this crummy minister. But he's bad as well. That's just terrible bad luck. Let's upgrade the iron workshops. In fact, let's go over here. Because I don't have a proper heavy Baltic fleet. Well, not Baltic fleet, Caribbean fleet. So, no, Don, Don Admiral's flagship. I want to wait till I've got uh, steam pumps you can dealt with. Steam, steam engines, sorry. Yep, you've been built to help boost this army, this navy, sorry. A happy drinker, good on him. Yep, you've been taken. Okay. Go and kill him. Upgrade to College of Divinity, you go to a church school and you get a craft workshop. Lots of top tier buildings, the smiths have already built. I leave Naroon. I can. I want to move him up to get ready to support this guy. It's tempting to sail this chap on to somewhere like here. Send him up to threaten Persia. And let's move this navy up the Gulf. So it would be easier to me, well, probably would have been easier to land him here. He'd have done a bit more of a lightning blow. Silly siege. That's a whole. They're not garrison mortars, though, they're regular mortars. Um, if they're just regular mortars, this would probably be a fairly standard fight. I probably want to send you. On to Srinagar to here, because then this will end up knocking them out of the game almost. Then that means you're free to push up onto Kabul. Oh, you're not free to push up onto Kabul. Okay, so you take this position by the river. Hopefully, you chase us down. Send out cavalry scouts. March onto the territory. Don't engage their army. Okie dokie. So do I, do I just attack them? I think I probably do. Let's do it. Let's take Lahore. Because I'm going to almost completely. They'll have one territory left. Then we will be the divine rulers of India. 
And we might end up actually declaring war on the Ottomans fairly soon, because it'll be easier to ship our troops up the Gulf than walk them. May end up bypassing. May end up bypassing um, Persia altogether. Oh, look at the city up on the hill at the back. Okay, so let's put a couple of gun teams up here. I mean, how far does their effective range get us? Them have one team trail up with us. This is form one flank. With this form up another flank like this. Good cavalry on the left. One infantry spare, follow up behind. Instead of guns, they'll follow up behind. Instead of artillery, they'll follow up behind. I mean, obviously, I say group my group my artillery. I'm group my cavalry on the left. Where is their cavalry? Where they're mortars, they're somewhere easy to get. Centre of town. Set you guys just to bombard the town, I suppose. Maybe might have to limber up. First artillery shells land. Okay, let's take our regiment of horse actually and bring them around like so. Just heave a dart in there and do some damage in the centre of town. Just the rest of their artillery is over here. Oh, very thinly deployed troops. So speed up time a little. Because I do have the infantry unit back here. Oh man, they're coming at us. So let's take the artillery and run them in. Well, my cavalry, my regiment of horse, and run them into the centre of town. Yeah, I see you mustering your cavalry and camel on the flank. I'm not going to save you. When the time comes, nothing will. Go get him. There's a whole lot of bodies. It's going to be the death of a faction, this. Folks. 
satisfy them, you fire camels. Let's run the sporting cavalry. Now one of our units is wavering because of the mortifier. Mobile forces are falling back in disarray. Can you chase down these other mortar troops. It's not enough to save you. Now it's the same camel gunners. Push up this line up and the unit a bit. Yep, the wars are dead. I'll go on and kill those mortars. Infantry. There's cavalry running around the flank. Form square. Throw the infantry up to get ready to attack them. But they're probably not the cavalry are probably gonna be killed. The marines are probably gonna fire into the back of the infantry and cause most of those troops to rout anyway. Foot artillery start plinking at their general. The square's about to break, but I don't want to send my Cavalryan. What else I want to win elsewhere? Where's this low artillery unit? Now deploy my cavalry. Ah, not yet. So they're going to get some easy shots on my cavalry. won't charge them for some reason. Now they are after taking so many losses. The two gunners up here, you can safely target the cows. You need to play it a bit more cagey. Target them. Target their cam there are pff, camels. Their general with our cavalry. Push up our line to help rescue our depleted cavalry. Also spin. Flank. Let's run my hussars away, or let's send them to chase down the Royal Infantry Guard.
capturing the Gurkhas. I think they can get to our lines, if I'm not mistaken. The general has been slaughtered by our cavalry. Charge into the back of that Kizabishi cavalry. They are routing in all directions. Hey, you should be shaken. This should be a very concerning and traumatic event for you. But because the nature of our victory is going to be so complete, we can actually afford to take losses we wouldn't normally want to have. So everyone else bow my cavalry. Fall up. Oh, that's in the bow there. That was a good win. So we managed to capture the last Mishmir Valley to actually try stop us. We lost a thousand men nearly. So it was a bit bloody. But we captured the territory and we have enough money to actually build rebuild the city, replenish our forces, destroy the university and we can see that we will not get as much respite as we would have liked because the Persians are coming so let's get a set of walls ready, ready to be built. Run you guys up as reinforcements, you might not all be able to fit, no, one too many. The artillery can't get in, so you're going to wait. Build a religious building. No master's forge. They're all pretty bog standard armies, so I'm not that bothered. I'm not that bothered about any of them. But I'd like a chance to slaughter one at a river battle, preferably. Kasur is about to get destroyed. You've gone as far as you can go. Where's the thirteen colonies? I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, because they're a protector of Dagestan. Damn it. Open. Come on, let's ally with her. Ah, oh, I see no benefit. What about just trade? And I'll pay you. Grand. Not even just trade. You're going to regret it, son. Okay, I think. I think it's everything, everything, everything I can do at the minute. So let's hit end turn. Don't worry. When war comes for France, it will be swift. Here. Cheeky swine. Why do this? So the reason I did this is because if if Hanover declared on me, it would cause there would be a risk that the United Provinces would back me rather than Hanover, so it gives them a threat to their western flank. So even though I've given away some technologies, some pretty good ones, um, I think it's helped secure my, my land borders inside Denmark itself. Like, or you don't want them to have it, and trade with a country you don't like, then... You know, what can you do? <gasps> so they've fallen back. By them falling back, that might give me an opportunity to, to take the bridge and slaughter two armies in one really big, fun battle. So I'm going to take Conrad's army, that's on the ford to the south, and send him north to, to hold the bridge at the far side of Lahore. There is unused land suitable for plantations power loom. in this region. You guys have got plantation to build. Go on then. Here we 
going to landing in Rupert's land next turn. So I've got power loom. Have you got any good? Plus one and dueling with swords. You're just getting good at killing. So you kill him, then kill him. Well, to be honest, soon I'll have enough church schools and might actually not matter. Um, let's just get a craft workshops for you. You put Kashmir in siege. Hold it for now. So I want him to be up here. So hopefully I can... I just want to see if I can get them. If I can get these guys in a, in a four bat, forward battle, that would be brilliant. So a fleet has arrived for repairs. I'm not going to send these war galleons anywhere. I want to send them to a new port or a new trade theatre. Let's just keep upgrading. Okay. So my sword can get the army board. Upgrading your church school and your port. Can't upgrade this yet because I haven't got steam engine. Not yet. Religious buildings. Fishing fleet. And the ruins got metal broods. Good. Great Punjab. Good stuff. First Kalmar still on experience five. So one cavalry and one artillery can go here. The other cavalry can go on a long distance charge and chase after Michael Horgan because you're running, running one cavalry unit short. Put Sahedin under siege. <gasps> Maybe not under siege yet. Draw them into a battle first. That would be good. Go ahead and march onto Persia. Because that's definitely going to wind them up. I think. Well, looking at the time I've, I've finished my hour episode. But where we're going to leave off is we're going to assault. Srinagar in Kashmir and cause the final death of the Maratha, not the Maratha, the Mughal Empire. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the death of the Mur of the, the Mughal Empire. God's sake. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>